Police say it was in this very spot that Michelle Burke started her shooting rampage. She shot five times through the building window over there, barely missing an employee's head. She then got in her car and drove into the front of the building. She then parked, got out, and shot four more times into employees' vehicles. This isn't just a place where you can check out books anymore. Libraries actually offer free classes for infants all across the city. Texas is still one of the seven states that has not banned texting and driving. That may soon change after the upcoming elections. If you think you've seen more potholes on the road lately, you're not alone. Houston's only fixing 15% of what they fixed last year, which means a bumpier ride for you. Ha empezado la destrucción de una de las escuelas más antiguas afroamericanas del país, pero un grupo de exalumnos está luchando para preservarla como un edificio histórico. Now, I've talked to a lot of people here at the Home Show, and they all tell me that you can find all kinds of hidden treasures and gadgets that you simply cannot find at a store, just like this one. Let's take a look around. So, Joel, you're telling me that I can actually make a garden out of this straw bale? Tell me about that. Well, we take a bale of straw, okay. and we're going to treat it for about a period of two weeks, 10 days to two weeks, by adding nitrogen to the bale. Add nitrogen, if you're an organic gardener, that means you're gonna add a protein source. Something like blood meal works well. So can a beginner actually make this in their own backyard like me? They're my favorite people to work with because this is, really makes it so easy. The summer is here, which for many means road trips and vacations. But if you and your family are planning to drive out of town, you might wanna do it sooner than later. Oil analysts are predicting a jump in gas prices over the next few weeks. Prices are expected to rise up to 30 cents a gallon. It fakes me since I'm a student in college trying to get around, trying to budget my money and everything. I mean, the gas is like, it's going high. It is not unusual to see rising numbers at the pump in the late summer due to hurricanes and maintenance shutdowns in refineries. But political unrest in the Mideast is another cause. Uh, oil prices are going up because of the geopolitical problems in the Mideast. We always have geopolitical problems in the Mideast. And once uh, things settle out in Egypt in particular, the oil prices will probably drop back a bit. Fortunately, if we do see a spike in prices, it is only expected to last about a month or so. For some who are planning to travel while there is still some summer left, 30 cents more in gas prices may put a damper on plans. 30 cents is a lot, particularly when only, what was it, about 10, 15 years ago, a dollar, dollar 40 seemed like uh, a lot of gas. If you want to reduce fuel consumption by about 15 percent, it is advised to drive at no faster than 62 miles per hour. Reporting for News Fix, I'm Nora Salinas. We all know Goodwill is the place to take your unwanted items. But did you know that little donation can actually change thousands of lives every day? Like for most of us, spring cleaning is an annual routine for Kim Cordova. I mean, usually I just go and I drop them off at the Goodwill and I never think about it after that. <laughs> I hope that they get good use, but I'm not sure what happens after that. And like the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So Trisha's jacket here at Goodwill is $10. The Oscar tank is $5. Skirt is seven and her shoes are Franco Sarto and they're $12 and she's wearing this cute little Nine West purse for $6 so she has a $40 head to toe outfit on. But aside from all the hidden deals, Goodwill's Meredith Phillips tells us the store has gone under a transformation. You will find when you walk in that it's like a, any other department store. And it doesn't just stop there. She tells us exactly where the proceeds go. When people donate those items, 95.5 cent of every dollar goes to our mission of helping people find jobs. You like it the way it looks? Remember Patricia? She is actually a recovering addict who enrolled in Goodwill's job program. I went through a four-day class and after the four-day class they started sending me job interviews. She's now temping in Goodwill's corporate office. It was more about learning about yourself. It was a wake-up call, make you look at your life and what you're doing wrong and why you're in the situation that you're in so you can fix it. Patricia tells me she will never look past a Goodwill again. For more information on this story, go to abc13.com. I'm Nora Salinas, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. The 4th of July is just around the corner and it is one of the busiest days out on Galveston beaches. The Coast Guard and Galveston Island officials are pushing new safety precautions for those who are planning to spend the holiday out on the beach. 
In the last month, there have been a total of four deaths at the San Luis Pass due to changes in the current. With Independence Day coming up, a day to celebrate with family and friends, authorities were out Tuesday to talk about water safety and precautions to keep in mind. The, the first and foremost is to pay attention to warnings in, in the posted areas where swimming is hazardous. Emergency Management Coordinator David Popoff said that Galveston authorities are determined to making the holiday as safe as possible. We have engaged in an operation known as Operation Safe and Sound, and we've asked uh, volunteers from Texas Search and Rescue uh, to support the uh, Beach Patrol, the local volunteer fire departments, the city of Galveston, and the sheriff's department uh, with being a force multiplier and being able to respond to uh, any emergencies that may come up. Walking along the beach, one can see various warning signs. And Chief of Galveston Island Beach Patrol Peter Davis stresses the importance of obeying the signs and keeping close to the lifeguards. We encourage you to please, please, please swim their lifeguard when you come down. Use one of the beach parks or the seawall where we have them. Um, we do have those rip currents on the seawall, but lifeguards are stationed at every jetty. Uh, so if you go there and obey the warning signs and listen to the instructions of the lifeguard, you're really pretty, pretty safe out there. Officials also remind us about the importance of keeping hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids in order to prevent heat stroke. It is advised to carry a water bottle at all times. For more water safety information, go to GalvestonIslandPatrol.com. Reporting for News Fix, I'm Nora Salinas.